So is it possible dark matter doesn't even exist in the first place? Well, let's see why dark matter may not exist after all, and what some scientists instead propose, which include crazy things like gravity being a hologram, negative mass fluids, and more. This graph shows expected star speeds around the galaxy, depending on their distance from the galactic center. The weird thing is that this is what was actually observed, which confused and shocked scientists. There was an easy fix though. If galaxies had extra mass that just couldn't be detected, then it would fit the data perfectly. This extra undetectable mass is dark matter. Since then, dark matter has explained lots of other things, including matter formation, galaxy cluster speeds, etc. But the dark matter model actually has a few problems. There's a proven relation between a galaxy's mass and its rotational velocity, called the tully fischer relation. This relation cannot be nicely explained by dark matter. The model also says there's tons of dwarf galaxies orbiting around larger galaxies like the Milky Way. Detections have shown there's only really a few. The alignment of these dwarf galaxies also goes against the dark matter model. Plus, dark matter has never been detected, despite all the high-tech expensive experiments conducted. These are just some of the issues which cannot be ignored. So what if we took a different approach? Maybe instead of claiming our models of gravity are correct and there's just more mass, what if we instead say our models of mass and galaxies are correct and there's just more force of gravity? Well, that is what Modified Newtonian Dynamics, or MOND, tries to argue. MOND says that at super low accelerations, the force of gravity goes from an inverse square distance law to an inverse linear distance law. This modification yields not only the observed graph for our star speeds, but also takes into account all the other previous points that were the issues of the dark matter model, its complete version called tensor vector scalar gravity, or TEVIS also takes into account high energy and near light speed conditions, which has resulted in more successes. The issue with all these MON models though is that there's no fundamental framework. What would even give rise to this behavior? There's also the bullet cluster, a cluster made of two colliding galaxy clusters. This is considered the best evidence for dark matter, since this cluster has most of its mass in the purple regions, despite all the normal matter being in the pink region. All this has made many dismiss the MOND models. But now, there might be one. A fundamental unified idea that underlies the framework of MOND, maybe explains the bullet cluster, and even tries to unite quantum mechanics with gravity. And that is entropic gravity. Entropic gravity claims that gravity is an emergent force, not a fundamental one, that can be treated as a hologram arising from quantum bits much like the bits we use today. When doing the math for entropic gravity, you end up rediscovering the MOND equations, showing just how powerful this hypothesis is. So what does entropic gravity say about dark matter? Well, it says that dark matter is just an illusion. This illusion, modeled by MOND and Tevez, is caused by the interaction of matter and the mysterious dark energy the thing responsible for the accelerated expansion of the universe. But what if it's not just dark matter that's an illusion, but also dark energy? This is where the dark fluid hypothesis comes in. The dark fluid, which some say must have a negative mass, would be both dark matter and dark energy. At galactic scales, the fluid becomes an attractive force, behaving like dark matter. At larger scales, the fluid becomes a repulsive force, behaving like dark energy. This idea would account supposedly for all the evidence that supports both dark matter and dark energy and all the troubles both models have. Although possible, this idea is very fringe and still highly speculative. So is dark matter real? More than likely. But dark matter is not as real as you think. It has its issues that still need to be worked out. Alternatives like mod and entropic gravity still have the slight potential of becoming the true description of the universe.